ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And on today's show, we'll meet two animals that fly. Oh, we have birds on the show? No, Stinky. Our guests are a colorless monkey and a flying squirrel. Uh, uh, excuse me for a moment. Jake, monkeys and squirrels do not fly. Well, in a way, you're right. You see, these animals don't actually fly. They glide. Oh. Yeah, they can leap great distances from tree to tree. Oh, I can do that, too. <laughs> but I never quite make it to the other tree. <laughs> that must hurt. Well, not really. Lucky for me, I always land on my head. And now it's time for... That's amazing! Yeah. Today, the monkey who has no thumb. Ooh, that's got to make hitchhiking tough. This monkey is one of today's guests, the colobus monkey. Did you know that colobus is the Greek word for broken? No, I did not know that. It's true. The colobus monkey was given its name because scientists at first thought that the monkey's thumb had been broken off. Really? But in fact, it never had thumbs, and it doesn't need them to swing from tree to tree. The thumbless colobus monkey. Hmm, another animal that'll make you learn to speak Greek and say... <gasps> That's amazing! And now it's time to meet our first <laughs> guest. Whoa, 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 what was that? That was our first guest gliding in. I told you he could fly. And here he is all the way from Central Africa. Africa? Cody, the colobus monkey. Gotta get a move on. Glide, glide, glide. No time to waste. Places to go, trees to see. <laughs> oh, cool. You're stinky, so you must be Jake. Yeah. I'm ready to glide, so let's go. Well, don't call up his monkeys ever rest? Sure, yeah, when it comes to resting, we're the best. Take a look. Oh, oh boy, footage. You see, the fact is, we spend almost three quarters of our day resting. <laughs> That's almost as much as stinky. And when he sees in those trees, we're almost always in groups, like these monkeys here. How many are usually in a troop of colorless monkeys? Oh, anywhere from five to a dozen. We groom each other's fur and tails and keep an eye on the younger monkeys. But the most important thing we do is travel together. Well, it looks like that monkey has some place to travel. Yeah, he's following the leader of the troop. And where he goes, the others are sure to follow. Where are they headed? They're going to glide through the trees. Whoa! Did you see that jump? <laughs> oh, that's not one. We do those all the time. Aren't you afraid of falling? No, not really, Jake. Because we don't have thumbs, our paws are perfect for hooking onto one branch and sliding off to the next. Hmm. Besides, we really know our way around these trees because we almost always swing between the exact same trees. You mean you follow the same path day after day? That's absolutely right, yeah. And speaking of leaping, do you mind if I glide around your trees for a while whilst we watch this next bit of film? Uh, sure. Thanks, Jake. Oh, 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 oh. Be careful climbing that tree. Whoa, you are fast. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, you're, you're really up there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, watch Whoa. this. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Now then, where were we? Oh, yes, that's right. As I was saying, we spend oh. most of the day sitting on tree branches and just, you know, resting. Uh, and scratching, too. <laughs> resting and scratching. Boy, that's my kind of day. Hey, and when we do get around to leaping, it's for only one reason. To find food. Eating, too? Where do I sign up to be a colobus monkey? <laughs> now, what kind of food do you eat, Cody? Oh, we love fruits and flowers, but we can eat almost any kind of leaf. Our stomachs are a series of small pouches, sort of like a cow's stomach, so we can eat food other animals just wouldn't be able to digest. <laughs> you ought to try one of Yves Saint Laroche's meals. I'll get you for that, you little stinker. Uh, 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 colobus monkeys seem to spend a lot of time grooming. Now, do you really get that dirty? Grooming doesn't just keep us clean. It also plays an important part in keeping our troop together. Well, how does it do that? Well, when monkeys groom each other, it helps them develop a friendship. You know, they come to depend on each other and to trust each other. But believe me, when you're leaping from tree to tree, like this monkey here, trust is very important. Say you've got some great trees up here. Why don't you two come up? Uh, after you, Jake. Uh, no thanks, Stinky. Uh, uh, Cody, do you colobus monkeys spend all of your time in trees? <laughs> Take a look. Now, here's two young monkeys practicing their tree hanging skills. The one on the right's doing pretty well. <laughs> but I don't think his buddy's got a grip on it yet. Well, I guess that's one way to get down to the ground. 
We sometimes go down to the ground to pick up fruit and other food that's fallen, but when we're on the ground, we still move as fast as we can. How come? Well, the ground is the most dangerous place for a colobus monkey. Panthers and other predators down there would love to grab us for their dinner. As soon as we see any dangers, we climb back up into the trees and hide. Ah, oh, there's someone hiding with their mommy. Yeah, he's a cute one, isn't he? That's a one week old. For the first two weeks, our babies are almost always clinging to the mum's side. But how come he looks so different from his mom? Our babies are born completely white, with pink hands and a pink face. At four months, though, he'll start to look more like his mum. His hands and his face will turn black, and his fur will really start to come in. Are mother and baby always that close? For the first year and a half, a mother colobus monkey won't let a child out of her sight, just to make sure he doesn't fall or get into trouble. Even after that, he won't be alone. Your troop sure stays close together. There's so much to learn, you know, how to glide from tree to tree, where to find the best food, and what's the best way to take a nap while sitting sideways on a branch. <laughs> yeah, I've always wanted to know how to do that. Yeah, me too, but I keep breaking the branches. <laughs> Why don't you come up and join me? Actually, I think it'd be better if you came down. Mm. OK, if you say so. Look out below. That was the best oh. glide I've ever had. <laughs> I landed on something soft. My head. Oh, well, well, thanks for being on the show, Cody. Yeah. Hey, 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 it was a pleasure dropping in. And I had fun being dropped on. <laughs> See you guys in the trees. Yeah, well, you know, nice guy, but my neck hurts from watching him swing back and forth. Well, what should we do? Oh, I don't know about you, but I'm going to watch Baby, Baby Talk. Talk. No, Stella, I will not pick the leaves for you. You gotta learn to pick your own. Okay, okay, I'm going, I'm going. Now, which leaf do I want? Oh, that, that looks like a nice one. Huh. Oh, yeah, got it. Hmm. Mm. Oh, not bad. Ooh. Hey, Stella! One word of advice. Watch out for the spikes on the acacia tree. They're very, uh, spiky. Ah. I think I'll, I'm just gonna bite the whole thing. Mm. 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 Well, no, maybe not. No, one more try. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, stinky! We've got to do something to keep our next guest from gliding around in the trees like that, or our heads are gonna fall off. Any ideas? Well, we could oh. let our heads fall off. Nah, nah, nah. Oh, I've got it. I'll be right back. Hmm? Well, meanwhile, let's see some more gliding. Oh, oh. Don't get in the flap. Just glide, glide, glide. Don't need a wing nor anything to glide, glide, glide. You want to pay a visit. You want to take a ride. Just say, we leave that tree and glide, glide, glide. Then glide, glide, glide Now elephants can fly However hard they try Some squirrels, lemurs, flying fish They glide, glide, glide I'm not going to tell you again, buddy. I'm oh, sorry. I'm Wanda Rat, rodent reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Ma'am. Oh, yes? Can you answer a question? Sure, and this is about flying. You know, folks forget that penguins can't fly. They're we're flightless birds. What's your question? Which of the following animals can fly? <gasps> the flying frog, the flying lizard, the flying fish, or the flying lemur? Your answer. Oh, I bet they can all fly just to make us penguins look bad. You are absolutely correct. All of these animals can fly. Yeah, well, Oh, oh, don't take it too hard, Mrs. Penguin, because the flying frog, flying lizard, flying fish, and flying lemur don't exactly fly. They glide. What? Just look. Oh, did you see that frog go? Yes. If you 
uses its webbed feet as parachutes. See? And as for this lizard, watch. Extensions of the lizard's ribs support a large flap of skin along its sides. And the flying fish uses those fins to glide when it leaps out of the water. And here's the flying lemur or Kalugo preparing for takeoff. On your marks, get set. Reporting on the flying lemur and friends. Now back to you, Stinky and Chief.